the 50th anniversary of Deep Purple's Machine Head. How awesome is this box set? Welcome Classic Rock fans to a review and unboxing of this brand new set which is Deep Purple's Machine Head, the 50th anniversary deluxe set. This will be released on the 30th of March and there are purchasing links just below this video so do check this one out. First we'll unbox this and take a look at what this wonderful item has to offer but do stick around to the end because then we're going to talk about the wonderful new remix by Dweezil Zappa as well as these interesting live recordings that they've uh, included in here. Anyway, let's get the cellophane off, shall we? So it comes in a nice sturdy box which contains everything in there. There's the rear and there's the spine. The items just come out like this. So we get a almost perfect facsimile of the original album sleeve. There's the rear and the gatefold as well is very faithful to the original although this actually holds the four cd uh, three cds and blu-ray as well as the vinyl the vinyl is in a nice black like that but wait for it the most important thing a poly lined sleeve which is just how we like it And that's the lovely vinyl, isn't that fab? They haven't reproduced the um, original DP label, but. Excellent. The first CD contains the 2024 remix, that's the Dweezil Zappa mix, and the 2024 remaster. There's the disc. There's a sleeve and the rear. CD2 is live in concert from 1972, which I believe has already been released. Uh, I had a version of it anyway. Uh, there's the cover, there's the rear, and the disc itself is similar to the other discs. Show it to you anyway. The next disc is Deep Purple Live in Montreux from 1971. The final disc is the Blu-ray audio disc. Uh, I have to say, um, I don't think it's on here, but the 72 concert that is actually on the, in the set was actually filmed, I think. So it's a shame they didn't include that actual film of that. But here is the actual Blu-ray. And if you're a bit anal about these things like I am, I even keep the sticker that goes on the front of the actual set itself. We get this poster, which is the lyrics, which I believe was in the original, wasn't it? It just folds out like that. Really nice quality as well, the paper, everything, it's uh, a really nice item. But it should be seen as it retails on Amazon at the moment at about £89, so. But it is, uh, you, can, you can feel the, the quality in, in terms of just the way the whole thing feels, really, even the vinyl and the, the nice touches like the polyline sleeves and this is just awesome. Purple around about this time were just uh, just incredible band. It uh, breaks my heart really that uh, I think bad management issues, um, as well as the tempestuous relationship between Gillen and Blackmore, kind of tore this band apart. Really, this is the sort of stuff I love in these booklets when they 
include lots of different versions of the singles and foreign versions. There you go, that's the booklet. If you're interested, just reading the blurb from the back. Of course, it contains a deluxe gatefold LP, three CDs and a Blu-ray, uh, purple smoke vinyl LP, new remix from analog multi-track tapes by Dweezil Zappa, a new remaster from original analog master, previously unreleased live recording from 171, 72 live in concert, uh, Blu-ray audio featuring the Atmos mix, um, 1974 US quad mixes and 5.1 mixes. So if you've got all that gubbing set up, you're set here. Booklet with essay from Rolling Stones, uh, Corey Grow based on new band interviews, photos from the recording session and lyric poster. Uh, so on CD1 you get the 2024 remix from Dweezil Zappa and the 2024 remaster that's contained on CD1. CD2 is the in concert from 72. Which includes Highway Star, Strange Kind of Woman, Maybe I'm a Leo, Smoke on the Water, Never Before, Lazy, Space Trucking, Lucille, and Maybe I'm a Leo, Soundcheck. I've never heard that before. I wonder if that was released uh, before. CD3 is uh, Live in Montreux, which includes Swiss Yodel speaking, Strange Kind of Woman, Into the Fire, Child in Time, Painted Black, Ring That Neck, Black Knight, and Lucille. So there you are. But what does it sound like? First of all, the new remaster is simply that it's just a remaster, but it sounds better than the version I had. The last version I bought was in uh, 2003 or 2004, I think it was. So in terms of the remix, let's, let's do this track by track. In terms of Highway Star, it's uh, the bass seems to be accentuated, much more powerful. Um, Lord's organ bit sounds fantastic. There's a little bit extra in terms of the Gillen scream. I'm sure, um, God, I don't know, my memory's not serving me right, but I'm sure that wasn't, there's a little, element to it that wasn't there before a bit more reverb on his voice as i said it doesn't sound so dry i think but this sounds really really powerful um overall this this remix is incredibly powerful it gives the impression of you listening to the band actually perform it live and the organ solo is absolutely interstellar i love the majesty of it plus there's some blackmore licks during the organ solo that i never noticed before in the original mix Maybe I'm a Leo, the guitar seemed to sing out a little bit, I think. Love the keyboard part, it seems to um, almost feel as if it's been lifted slightly in the mix. And again, the vocals uh, sound much better, I think not so dry, but I'm just repeating myself. Let's just, in my opinion, the vocals on this album sound absolutely incredible. Pictures of Home sounds uh, a lot more natural, I think. It does give the impression of a band running it through live. And what's wonderful about this remix is the power of this band really, really is accentuated. I notice more Hammond bits on this and Lord's solo in this seems to have a little bit more ballast to it. And Glover's bass solo in this just rattles your fillings. Never before, I love this track with the, with its kind of half day tripper riff in it. The kind of ethereal bit in this, the bit where he says, you know, you, you took my name, you took my body, but threw away my soul. Um, I prefer the, the sound of this section in the original mix than on here, it sounds a little bit too, uh, in your face really it's lost that kind of delicate sort of floaty feel and then we get to the mighty smoke on the water that really blew me away to be honest with you it's the original mix had gillen's voice too low in my opinion uh this has been rectified with a new mix the famous intro the guitar sounds um more powerful and i adore how the organ and, and the guitar sound together in this new mix they seem to have accentuated that and there's much more beef to the, the bass as well. The voice um, sounds much more balanced in line with the instrumentation. And I love the uh, fire in the sky bit that Gillen sings. It's just a little bit more echo on, on Gillen's voice. What's wonderful about the fact that they seem to have lifted Gillen's voice a little bit is you hear a lot more nuance in the way he sings these songs. And after the fire in the sky bit, it goes back to that organ and guitar mix and the organ has been been lifted a little bit in this mix. It's got some real bollocks to it. It gives it much more rumble, for want of a better word. What's really impressive about it is the ending. Um, a lot of stuff I think that was lost in the original mix or just faded out is uh, resurrected here. It's just, uh, Gillen's voice, his little vo vocal interjections uh, are just incredible. Some of those glass worrying shrieks of his and him shouting, burn, burn. Of course, the song ends with Gillen shouting, break a leg, Frank before it fades out. Lazy, uh, the uh, the organ sound uh, gives it much more grandeur, in my opinion. Space trucking, I mean, how awesome does this sound? And the vocals sound more natural, less affected. And we get the extra track when a blind man cries. Love the way that the emphasis is placed on the guitar here. 
And uh, Gillen's vocals have been, again, they've been lifted in the mix a little bit. It sounds absolutely wonderful. So anyway, let's talk about the live stuff, shall we? The first did live 72 sounds excellent, but then we know it sounds excellent. We've heard it before, but it's nice to have it included in here. And the live 71 in Montreux. I love the Swiss yodel at the start of this. Excellent stuff from them. And wonderful intro to Speed King as well. Really powerful, distorted slab of noise that this recording is. And I mean it, it really is a slab of noise. It's one for the hardcore fans only, really. It's Because uh, there are bits missing as well. The recordings jump, like in Child in Time. It jumps from one bit straight to a, a, another bit, where it's, it's obviously the tape's missing or damaged or whatever it is. But overall, I, it's a wonderful listen. If you're a hardcore Purple fan, I'm certainly glad it's on here. And Child in Time is one of the finest versions I've heard, actually, with that ballooning vocal of Gillen to accompany his descending trousers. So there you are, they're my thoughts on the new Deep Purple anniversary, 50th anniversary edition. I can honestly say that this remix will replace, will become standard listening for me in terms of the version I actually listened to. I really loved it. Um, I say this all the time, but I think this is probably one of the best sets I've heard this year. Please be sure to click like and subscribe and check that notification bell if you're a fan of reviews and unboxings of stuff prior to its official release. And uh, check out some of the links below this video for ways you can support the sterling work done at Classic Album Review. Become a Patreon, why not? There's a fine body of work on there now. So I'll leave you with my closing salvo, which is hope you're well, staying safe, and of course that you keep listening.